Kirsten. I'm a college English professor. I have been living successfully with HIV for 26 years. I have a nine-year-old son, and I've been married for 25 years. That sounds good. Excellent. Did you get your flu shot this month? I did. From the moment that I walked in and met with Sally, her attitude allowed me to think about this as a livable condition rather than a death sentence. plans for the holiday? Oh. Kaiser Permanente started a nice. clinic for women living with HIV and we currently serve over 150 women that are living with the virus and they run the spectrum from homeless women to women that are college professors. Okay. Heidi will call you with an appointment for your pap smear and to follow up with me in Evening Women's Clinic in March. We have them up to date on their pap smears, mammography, hepatitis screening and it's been a really successful program. It's very easy to replete your vitamin D stores. Usually they feel like they're providers that really care about them as women and people, not particularly related to their disease, and that they have confidence that we're going to provide the services they need and help them in all aspects of their life, whether it's wanting to have a child or planning for their retirement or helping them when they're struggling with how to take their medication or side effects or drug interactions. You really seem to have a good grip on where you are. I feel so good. It's a place where they can live with their HIV, but also be accepted, not have any concerns about stigma or judgment, and feel good about themselves. It has been proposed. If you're living with HIV, grab all the support that you can. Replace the mother that doesn't understand or the sister that's not going to want to hear what you're living with because there's a lot of mothers and daughters and sisters and aunties living with HIV and they're there to support you.